Okay, here we go with the logo, creating a logo for the website tutorial. Um, I've here, this is the logo on the site right now that's in the header of the website for Dan's Courses. You've probably, if you've been there to the website, you've seen it at danscourses.com. And I'm just going to show you how this is laid out. Um, and these are my different layers. Now right off these layers here, I've got the layers window open. And uh, these layers are kind of small, so I'm going to go over here. I've, I've selected layers. I'm going to go to this little sub-selection menu, and I'm going to go. It's off screen right now. Maybe I can show it to you. Let me see if I can move this over. I'm going to go all the way down. It's off screen to panel options, and then I'm going to choose large, and click OK. And now that makes the um, layers a little bit larger and kind of like easier to see what's going on here. So I'm going to turn this off layer by layer. So at the top layer, you'll see I've got um, the text, which is no longer a text. The text has been converted into a bitmap, into a raster image. Otherwise, this would say text. So I turn that off. And then on this layer, I've just got this little spray painting of the color so that it creates kind of like this glow effect when the text layer eyeball is on right here. So now you can see the glow behind it. If I turn off this eyeball, you see that the glow is kind of missing. There you go. See that? All right. So I turn off this eyeball, turn off this eyeball. And then this is the layer where a lot of the action happens that is um, on this layer where I have a picture and I have an image of myself in my sitting at my desk in my computer lab. And then um, I've got a layer mask right here, and this layer mask is making um, making this disappear right here, making the, f the edges of the image blend to disappear, right, like kind of transparent. All right, so this is my, my layer mask right here. And then at the bottom layer, it's just empty, just nothing on the bottom layer whatsoever. All right, so there's that image. All right, and now I'm going to switch and show you the old logo. Click right here to see. I've got two files open, one two. All right. The old logo looked like this. And when I opened up this logo, you can see I have a lot of layers here that I'm not even using. So look at this. I'll turn off this. And then here's the original. You know, that was that as I started. And then I just worked on that D. <laughs> and then I had the C. I worked on that. And uh, then eventually I ended up with this layer as the starting layer with a um, it's a uh, layer with a D and a C, and I created an outer glow on it, which is like a green outer glow here effect. And then I got this text here. And as soon as I opened up this file, I got a warning that the font is missing. Okay, so this new computer, uh, this computer got reformatted. It's the college's computer, and I don't have this font, so I'm missing this font. So there's a problem right off the bat. The assignment, this is an assignment for the next four weeks, is to create a logo for my site, dancecourses.com. And um, I just wanted to kind of show you, the, you know, to how I got started here, and then we can talk about the specifics of this, all right? So first of all, let's talk size, okay? The size of this logo is going to need to be image. I'm going to go to image, image size, and it's going to be 364 wide by 75 tall. 364 wide by 75 tall pixels, right? 364 by 75. So right off the bat, if you're going to start this project, you want to want to go File, New, right? And then you're going to say 364 pixels wide by 75 pixels tall, resolution 72, right? Background contents, white is good. Or you could say background, color, background contents, you could set to be transparent. Right, so uh, you know, I'll, I'll set it to be transparent to start with. That might be a good way to do it, to try something different. You know, instead of a white background, we'll start with a transparent background. All right, you click OK, and you got your new file, and you're ready to go. All right, so this thing will be your logo project. So right off the bat, you can now save it, file, save as, and I'm going to save it. Um, yeah, school stuff. That's fine, and I'll say sample logo. And notice it's a .psd. This is the Photoshop document format. 
So sample logo.psd is a Photoshop document format. This is the format in which you have your layers and where you, you open it up and Photoshop opens up. If you double click on this file, Photoshop opens up with all your layers and everything. I hit save. And it says, do you want to maximize compatibility? Absolutely. If I'm going to, I could, I might have like Photoshop CS3 or CS2 on another computer, older version. And if I maximize compatibility, I'll be able to open up this file in an older version of Photoshop. Doesn't mean I'll, I'll be able to have all of the capabilities that I had in CS4, but I will be able to at least open it up. And if uh, certain aspects don't work, then those will be shut off, but the, the bulk of the project will open up. Okay, so I've saved that, right? And um, and so now I've got my um, I've got my uh, image to start with, right? I'm gonna um, use this little tool here so I can see all of my tools a little bit better. See, I click right here on this this thing right here, and that helps me put two rows of tools. My foreground color is black. I'm gonna get my text tool, and right off the bat, I'm gonna start by just saying you know, Dan's courses.com. That might be a good way for you to start to do, uh, to start your logo project is because the logo project needs to be uh, 375 by, um, or 364 by 75 pixels, but also at some point in this logo, it needs to say Dan's courses or Dan's courses.com in the logo, right? Because this is a logo that's for my website and I want to have representation. And the other thing I'd like to have on this representation is I'd like to have be legible. So that's the other issue, you know, is, is uh, legibility. I'd like people to, when they get to the website, to be able to read and see right off the bat that they're at danscourses.com. So legibility is another factor that I'd like you to build in um, to this uh, project, right? So right off the bat, you know, if I put this dance courses right here, and uh, you know, uh, maybe I could uh, get my text tool and highlight it and I could make it um, uh, bold. I'm using Myriad Semi Pro, a uh, Myriad Pro font right now. Uh, it's not the font that I used originally because I don't have that installed on my system. I could make the size a little bit bigger, you see, and I could actually save this file and I could use it as a logo on my site just like that. It's not very sexy though and it's not very um, pleasing it doesn't have any imagery you know the text doesn't really have a treatment that's you know doing a lot um, so um, in a later video though I'm gonna show you how to do that so right now I'm just gonna file save and I'll call this first piece um, done for now <laughs>